All right, guys, welcome to an Android quick bit. Today we're going to have a look at an adaptive grid, which is <clears throat> a grid which on, if you look at the two emulators here on the phone, is a perfect column, it's a list view. And on the tablet, it's actually a grid view. Now, how did I do this? Uh, or this was done essentially with one line of code. Not even a line of code, actually. There's no Java involved in changing this at all. It was done with a little trick. So let me show you how this works. Essentially what happens is we have our main activity and I'm always using a grid view. So here's my grid view in here. And I just get it and I create an array adapter and I just create a pile of strings uh, saying grid view or grid item. So have the uh, grid items showing up in both things. So I'm using a grid view both times. And I use the property Android num columns. And I'm referring to an integer. So what I've actually done here is, if we take a look in the project structure, is we're using one layout, one Java file, and then we're actually using resource selectors to identify our number. So as you can see, this version here, is res values numbers xml so it's res values numbers xml and then i have one for smallest width 600 tips which is two so that's on the tablet so that tells our grid view to use one column on the phone essentially becoming a list view and two on the tablet and as you can see it works flawlessly the grid view uh, this is a very useful trick it's if you've got a list view and you can you, you can change it to being a grid view very easily you use the same adapters the same layouts everything you can instantly make your uh, layout become a tablet layout but anyway that's this quick bit i hope you enjoyed and see you next time